My name is Steve Layton, and I travel the world finding amazing and delicious coffee for you to drink at home. Some make coffee difficult to understand and complicated, but here it's my job to make it easy and fun and tell you what's in my mug. Hello everyone and welcome to my mug episode 421. Um, I feel like I've just done one of these a few moments ago. This is pre-recorded as I am currently in Kenya, uh, uh, buying lovely and delicious and tasty coffee. Um, let's get into some delicious and tasty coffee. So this week's coffee comes from Costa Rica, comes from the Valley, uh, uh, Western Valley, um, from Lourdes de Naranjo, uh, where lots of our coffees come from. Uh, think um, uh, Oasis, uh, think Mantial, uh, Mantial, both from Arbar. We think um, Finca de Licho, think Herba Zoo that we've had in the past. Um, there's a whole heap of them from this region. And this comes from our friend's family. So, uh, Carlos Arieta um, from Arbar is the cousin to uh, Audemars and Marlene, um, who uh, own Vista El Val um, in that Western Valley. Why don't we go and look at the map a bit before I ramble on any more about it so you know exactly where it is. So here we are again on the map bit, we are going across the Atlantic Ocean and this time we're going to be going to Costa Rica um, but first we have a good look at Central America, we can get a feel for where everything is there but let's get down to Costa Rica, this is what we're interested in. So uh, Costa Rica, fantastic country bordered by Honduras and Panama. Costa Rica, approximately 25% of the country has protected forests and reserves, um, very very beautiful place and um, country that I really enjoy. Uh, visiting it's just somewhere that is very cool but here we are we can see that we've got El Mantial we've got Oasis and then smack in the middle we've got this week's Vista El Val um, obviously as I've already said this is um, the cousin of um, the owner of Mantial and Oasis um, and they really are on a just a mountain ridge of amazing coffee but the difference in this farm and the other farms they have a beautiful view of San Jose um, they can see like all the detail um, in, at night when you start to see the lights coming on and just get a real feel. There we go, we can kind of whiz around and see a little bit more of what they can see. Um, but fantastic mountainous regions and, and, and um, Lourdes and Naranjo is a, an amazing coffee producing area. So uh, there we've got the highest points and the lowest points. This farm at 1500 to 1600 metres above sea level. And that was this week's map bit. So Aldermall and uh, Marlene have been farming for around about five, six years. Uh, I was very lucky to visit them the very beginning of them farming, uh, back in the day. Um, the following year they won Cup of Excellence. Um, they have delicious coffee, they do such a good job of milling, they have their own micro mill. Um, uh, on the farm and it really is just a delicious amazing lovely coffee and they really do some good work there um, but all what's always important is they're really good people as well uh, and um, yeah enjoy their company very much um, last time I went to them they were in the middle of the harvest but they still took time out to come and say hi and um, yeah it, it was very very good to see them okay why don't we go and do the fact file to find out more about Costa Rica and this farm so hello and welcome to this week's fact file. So figures may change because we may have got them wrong, but we are focusing down on Costa Rica. So here we have the wonderful country of Costa Rica in Central America. Uh, 93,000 hectares devoted to coffee. Not one hectare devoted towards the army though, as they don't have an army in, or any military in uh, Costa Rica. They're the 13th biggest coffee producer. Uh, the total coffee production is 1.8 million bags, which is around about 108,000 metric tonnes, a lot of coffee. Most common varietals you're going to find Katura, you're going to find Mundo Novo, a little bit of Katayi. Um, there's a whole heap of different varietals there, they're Bourbon as well. Coffee grown between 1,000 and 1,700 metres above sea level. 
and uh, fairly typical 18 farms we work with in uh, Costa Rica. I'm very proud of how many people we work with and how many great producers we work with. So Vistrel Val in Alajula, which is in Naranjo. Um, it's polytunnel sun-dried yellow honey. You see, we get the detail there. Villa and Catura, 1,500 to 1,600 metres above sea level. That is the fact file. So let's get into the espresso. So this is very different to last week's coffee. There's much more acidity with this one. It's much sharper. It's much more tangy like it has a real lemon acidity but it's not lemon as you know it. it's kind of like um, a cloudy lemonade kind of lemon so it's got that sweetness kind of kicking around in there there's a little bit of white sugar going on um, but it really is just all about the acidity um, let's go into the cap and yet you know kind of lots of brightness sharpness coming through the milk. I don't think it works as well as a cap as it does the espresso and the filter, um, but you definitely get those lovely tastes coming through. Um, we should go do the fact file. So Vista El Val just means uh, view of the valley. Um, you can see uh, San Jose, uh, the capital of Costa Rica, um, from uh, from the farm and you get a beautiful view at night from there uh, I was very lucky there to see this kind of sunlight fading and then just see the city lights come alive and a very very pretty place um, let's go do Roland's Daft Fact of the Week In Costa Rica it's common for babies to be given coffee with their milk in their bottles Ooh, babies on caffeine yuck Interesting fact, Roland. Thank you for that one. Um, yeah, that's good. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, next week's big one next week. You should watch uh, live. Well, live. I'll be back by then, but in Kenya. Um, um, so you can guess that next week's might be a Kenyan. Um, but they're normally fun when we're on location. And uh, maybe we'll get some people on too. Um, thank you. Uh, do remember, life is too short for bad coffee. Thank <laughs> you.